Hi, my name is Jared Haddad, and I'm a fitness specialist and club manager here at Concord Therapy Group Health and Wellness. And today we're going to be talking about uh, the first stage in our four-part uh, Getting Fit at Home program. And we're going to start where all of our movements start, which is dri driven from the core. Um, now, the core is something that gets thrown around a lot nowadays, and most people think that it is just your muscles right here in the front in your stomach. However, it is the muscles that work all the way around from your low back to your obliques or your sides and into your, into your stomach muscles. And today we're going to be doing, uh, two, I'm going to show you two different types of exercises. One involving the use of a, a physio ball or stability ball. And the second is just using your body weight where you can do it on, at your home, in your, on your floor, or in your bedroom. Not all these exercises may be appropriate for you, uh, so you may need to adjust. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into our uh, first exercise group, which is the core exercises uh, that would be down on the, on the floor or in your bedroom. The first exercise we're going to do uh, is, is a basic, it's called a bridge. And what you're going to do is as you're laying down either flat on, on the ground or in your bed, Knees are going to be bent, so we're almost in a sit-up position. And with your hands placed down on the floor beside your side, what you're going to do is elevate your hips up into the air. As you are elevating those, you're squeezing your buttocks together, your abdominals are tight, and we're going to do a controlled lower. Everything is controlled. As you lift and elevate the hips, you want to be feeling your vertebrae in your back go up vertebrae by vertebrae on the way down it's going to be controlled we do not want to just fall down to the ground as you're elevated up into the air you want to hold it for a brief one two count and relax back down and for beginners we can start with just doing ten of these exercises the next exercise we're going to do is called a hook line pelvic tilt. Our knees are going to remain in the same position, bent, as if we we're going to do a, a sit up. And pelvic tilts, what you're trying to do is pull your belly button to your spine, engaging your, your abdomen. So you're kind of almost trying to pull your belly button down to the floor. As you're doing that, you're kind of bringing your pelvis up a little bit, similar to the bridge, but we're not lifting it up off the ground and you're going to relax. You're going to contract really pulling that belly button in and relax. You want to hold this one for about a three count. One, two, three, and relax. And we want to do about ten of these as well. The next exercise we're going to do is some leg raises. These ones are going to work the lower abdominals we're going to remain in the same position with one leg extended straight. The other leg is going to remain bent. We're going to slowly lower the leg and bring it back up. Everything, again, is under control using those abdominals and the hip flexors to control this. We're going to switch to the other leg. Again, straight, controlled, lower, and controlled up. We're going to shoot for five times on each leg to begin with. The next exercise we're going to do is a, bait, is a crunch. Now you've seen a lot of sit-ups to where you're coming all the way up, um, or just crunches to where your head is, is bobbing. I like to do mine with your knees bent. Palms are on your thighs, and what we're doing is we're reaching up, trying to touch your kneecaps, and back down. What I like to look for is just so those shoulder blades are coming off of the ground. When those shoulder blades come up, we're getting a good contraction in the abdominals while not putting any kind of stress on the back. We're coming up and sliding right back down. It's okay if we cannot reach your knees. All we're looking for, again, is getting those shoulder blades up off the ground and back down. 
If you do tend to feel like you have a little bit of stress in the back, feel free to put a pillow underneath of your hips to give your low back a little bit of extra support. We'll start with two sets, well, I'm sorry, we'll start with one set of 10 of this exercise. Final exercise that you can do anywhere that you are, whether you're sitting at your desk at work, sitting in your chair here watching a uh, video on the computer, um, or driving in the car, is just a simple belly squeezes. Similar to the pelvic tilts that, that you do on the floor, and basically whether, you, again, if you're sitting at your desk, all we're doing is pulling that belly button in, we're tightening up our entire abdominals, holding it, one, two, three, and relax. Tighten everything up, one, two, three, and relax. Again, that's something you, could do, you can do anywhere that you are at. Now we're going to move on to a physio ball. Physio ball or stability ball uh, is something you can be purchased at uh, any sporting goods store, Walmart, Target, and you can usually find them for under $25. Um, it's a tool that can be very great uh, for uh, many different exercises as you'll see in the segments down the road. One thing with a physio ball is it's going to come not blown up. It should come with some sort of a pump um, or you can use an air compressor to blow it up. And you want to have it blown up. There will be guidelines with the ball as to height and how, how far, how much it should be blown up. Um, but a good rule is as you're sitting on the ball, you do not want your hips to be lower than your knees. Okay. The first exercise we're going to do, and remember it is a ball, so, and you're sitting on a round surface, so you are going to want to slide side to side. So you may want to grab a chair and have a chair on either side of you to help with some stability, but we don't want to, we eventually want to get yourself off of that chair. We don't want to use that as a crutch. Initially, too, we can start with your hands on the ball or on a chair. And the first exercise we're going to do is marching. And basically, we're going to march. We're sitting up straight. Our core is tight. And we're just going to march. Opposite arm, I'm sorry, opposite leg, opposite leg. Just like in a marching motion. We don't want to get into a very fast-paced march where we're bouncing. We want to have it controlled everything controlled with that core. We're going to hold it and lift for one, two, and back down. Hold and lift, one, two, and back down. The next exercise, same position on the ball, still sitting up straight. We're going to lift one arm up and back down. The opposite arm up and back down. So we're taking away either the chair or the ball here to work on a little bit more stability. As we take this arm up, you're going to want to slide or roll, roll to one side. So we need to engage that core to keep us up straight. Again, it's just a slow motion. The next exercise kind of combines the two together we go into an opposite arm, opposite leg. And what you're going to do is, like I said, we're going to combine the two together. Right leg up, left arm up, holding it for one, two, back down, opposite arm, opposite leg, two, and back down. This one is really going to take your stability away so that core definitely needs to engage. The next exercise we're going to from our straight up position we're going to take two steps out with each feet. Keeping our hands on the ball we're going to lean back slightly. By doing this the abdominals are definitely engaged. We're going to take one arm up then the other arm up Again, we're going to want to slide. Keep our chairs if we need them here so that we can grab them if we start to fall. What we're going to do is we're going to do some rotations. And with arms straight, 
we're going to rotate right, a little bit more than a 45 degree angle, back to the center, left, a little bit more than a 45, and back to the center. We're going to count on this one, one, pause, two, pause, and we're going to shoot for 20 of those, so 10 on each side. Making sure that we're not getting into a fast motion here. We want to have a pause in the middle to take the momentum out and to make sure that the muscles are doing all the work. Another good thing with the ball that you can do is do away with your computer chair. Balls are great. Even just sitting on them as you're typing at the computer, you're engaging that core. With a lot of times with that, that chair, you're able to lean back, you're able to slump, slouch. Well, this ball is going to keep you upright. And it's going to force you to stay upright as you're typing, as you're moving the mouse. It's a great tool that can get some results with that core strength. And this is going to be your core workout.